guys deluded i'm back again i love you guys i love all of my subscribers and people that regularly return to my vids to come and watch me and these things there but you guys don't make it easy for me i mean it's friday i'm chilling off i'm seeing what the most is for later i'm pre um organizing myself for that but you guys a lot of you guys have been saying have you seen the bellerin stuff have you seen the bellerin you gotta make a video about the bellerin this and that and i love you guys as much as you are annoying me at, at this moment in time and it'd be wrong not to to be honest i mean we're not playing any football this weekend so why not humor i might as well humor you guys enough waffling let's crack on hector bellerin now he was talking that uh, um what was it the oxford union shout out to him and congratulations for getting um <clears throat> getting called up for that i've told you guys he's, he's a very articulate man off the pitch he's got his interest in fashion and he's got his interest in other things he was giving a talk i think someone asked him about arsenal fan tv or whatever like i said i'm i don't really care for the for the facts really and truly to be honest with you because i don't really care for the story in my opinion like i've really got no time for this i mean first and foremost if you grow up in any city in the city london or anywhere i mean these are just words man have opinions and man take away opinions we all allowed opinions but what some people in life don't understand our opinions mean nothing i've got my my opinions i believe messi is the best footballer in the world and my opinion matters to me but it doesn't necessarily matter to my man and likewise and we're all allowed one we're, all our opinions are as important as, as each other don't get me wrong when you man are waffling you're waffling but all our opinions fundamentally in a white and black scenario are as important are very important but by the same logic they're not with in regards to bellerin and what he said and i'm waffling now started ranting I, um he's obviously said something about not true fans or um he's alluded to arsenal fan tv whether they're in it for money or and he, he said well he can't he can salute the hustle fundamentally as an entrepreneur himself how you get money doesn't matter he thinks they're not true fans or for one or better words i don't necessarily believe he, he meant to say or did say not true fans i think he meant to say their principles aren't fundamentally with supporting the club i don't doubt for a minute every one of them arsenal fan tv people or whoever's on it are, are arsenal fans clearly they are fundamentally you don't go home and away in these things what i have a problem with anyone in general if you give out stuff you can take it if you give out stuff you can take it if i'm i'm here myself i love bellerin but i'm here saying long hair don't care bellerin at times as well when he frustrates me if bellerin wants to say i'm talking nonsense in one of my vids about a match or about me then i have to take that too he might be right and if he's right i'll see where i go wrong in the same way we tell him to try and go um right in his football which he does need to improve and um, we tell him you take it we always cry for footballers' opinions, and in a world where we feel ever closer to footballers with social media and that, we're, we're far away. We hear when we speak to them, we hear the same old recycled examples and things about matches and opinions on anything. It's nice to see he gave his true opinions. I don't believe that's right for anyone. Shout out to Robbie. I mean, on one hand, Robbie's making money from this thing, so you have to question a lot of things. But fundamentally, I think he's a chilled out guy. I got time for troops, but fundamentally, like. There are a lot of guys that are like twats on Arsenal fan TV, so he is right in what he meant to say or what I personally believe he's meant to say. There is a lot of men that play up to the camera without doubt. If men are out here saying Bellerin doesn't do this and Bellerin doesn't do that, like I said, you're in, fans are entitled to their opinions. We are the football club, entitled to that. But if a player wants to say something, I don't necessarily, like I said, if he questioned the loyalty and I'm wrong and he questioned the loyalty, that's a whole different matter. But if he's questioning fans needing to support the thing at times, not, um, um, he's, he's, he's doing that, he's entitled to say that. If you are criticising a man, you can't complain because he's criticising you. You cannot say Bellerin needs to improve in this and that and he questions your logic because these footballers have to stay in touch. He, he can't question, he can question you. If he came out and made blanket statements like all fans need to do this and that, then there's resentment. But if you're going to take stuff, you if you're going to give stuff, you need to take it. And that goes for every one of the Arsenal fan TV people, to be honest with you. Um, we know there's a lot of people here. I'm not going to get into it. Like I said, I don't care for this, man. People, anything, Arsenal, listen, this is just wet. Like, this is moist from both sides. Any man on that Arsenal fan TV thing that's crying about Bellerin, I don't even want to swear, but they got an it, they're an itch. You guys know what letter to insert in front of that. Like, come on. He's an, like, we tell these men to improve and, and by, don't get me wrong, I, I don't believe nobody's wrong in this, I'm not picking no sides, nobody's wrong in this, I, we have a right to say whatever we want with players and players need to rein it in, I'm not saying players can freely say whatever they want about fans, but if time to time they have an opinion that's not necessarily hurtful and, and, and critiqueful, why not? Anyone with any sense can see that he's not necessarily wrong, like I said, I'm not picking sides, for want of better words in my opinion, so it, how, and also, I question on a regular basis our commitment, our focus.
focus, all of these things about Arsenal, which is evidently not there. But by the same logic, I'm just a fan. I don't see them on a football pitch. Mate, if I saw them on, and I'm not picking sides, and I'm not saying this is what's happening, but if I saw them on a football pitch, I saw the hours they're putting in. I might, and I'm speaking in an ideal world, I see how they're moving defensively. Then now on a match day, I see how they're moving. They're doing the same Arsenal we're seeing, and they're losing, and they're getting battered. I might think differently. I might think differently. So by that logic, if a man's putting in the hours and all of these things, if he really is, just a general statement, if he's putting in all them hours, training hard, trying to work on his tacticalness and his positioning and all them things there, and, and I'm out here saying he needs to improve, he needs to cut his hair to play better, and all of these things, which some players and people are making personal comments like that on that platform, um, if I'm making comments like that, then... He can cut, and it might not be true. Then, from time to time, if man wants to say this small section of fans is not true fans, they're not. Clearly, Arsenal fan TV get views whether we win or not. And they, it's a fundamentally good platform. But there's man on there that play up to the cameras. Fundamentally, they are going to get more views if we if we lose because of the state of our Arsenal's are in now. Like I said, I, um, I've got a lot of time for troops, to be honest. I, I don't like the way people like to draw him out with the slang and things like that because it does have some undertones. But apart from that, there's man that act goofy on the camera. You're seeing grown men fighting each other. You're seeing man off a man out and they're not really on this thing. You're seeing man continuously talk nonsense on Twitter. Do man, man are like 30 years old that team wetting this? So, like I said, but if Bellerin is saying something different about questioning loyalty of fans and saying fans can't have an opinion, which I don't think he is, if he's saying that, that's another debate and which I'm not having because you can't tell me nothing if, about me. If I want to say my team is playing dead, we're playing dead. If he means that a small section of fans are playing up to the camera or their fundamental morals, and I say, I'm not saying they're not, they are or they aren't. If he, be, if he is saying that, that's something else. If I, be, if I come out here and say Bellerin needs to improve defensively and he says I need to do something with my vids, I take the rough with the smooth. Like, these men are allowed opinions. We, as football fans, cry that journalists... The other day, we were crying about a journalist. How, but when, when Ozil did that or whatever against... Who was it? Ironically, the return game at home against Spurs, when Ozil turned up and everyone was saying Spurs... Um, he can't get in the Spurs lineup and he can't do this... These very same people on this platform were criticising journalists and say journalists don't like their opinions to get fingy then this and that. So you can't complain. I'm I'm believing balance fundamentally in life. I don't like to do things that um onto people that I don't want done onto me. And if I do something to someone, I'm gonna if that happens, I'm gonna take it. It's about con being emotionally aware, or just conscious of your decisions and what you're saying at the end of the day. Fundamentally, man need to um, for want of better words, gonna decide we live in now. Man need to man up. But everybody needs to man up. This is a non-story. I can't believe on. Friday I'm drawing myself out and making this seven minute vid to be honest because I don't really think this needed to be stated and if not a, much, a lot of you spoke about this and if how um how do I even make this make sense if so many of you didn't ping me on these social media sites I wouldn't be here talking about this because I don't believe this is a story this is just do you know what this is just bitch playing this from both sides to be honest with you this is just this is just what bitches do like come on my how's this on a friday a story like i can't believe it's got so much traction if that's a man a man's allowed an opinion fundamentally but as but so are fans going home away and stuff and i don't really care for this opinion if you're paying money because whether you're paying money which i'm not knocking paying money i work as well paying money is a big thing to invest in something but there's fans out there that pay their internet bill that wake up in shout out to my man that comment in australia and that waking up at ridiculous times to watch us wake it trying to shed their little shifts because they're in a different time zone i don't know how they work it trying to balance work and their things there with arsenal when we're kicking off at these mad times which is probably early in the morning for them and they i don't think they're any less of a fan than someone that's paying their season they're paying their hard-earned money from their nine to five that they hate but they do it so Arsenal, so they can watch arsenal or, or the club in general on the weekend i don't think they're any less or any better than each other they've both displayed extreme commitment they're both allowed an opinion if my man out there, that's millions of people are watching Arsenal, and some of it is clearly true, and again, my honest opinion is these players are not committed and don't have enough heart in these things. That is my opinion. But he's allowed to say that's not the case, and I'm chatting shit if, 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 um, in saying that. He's allowed, a man is allowed to say that fundamentally. That is, that is it. That is it. That's the problem with society now. People want to be able to say whatever they want to say and not be able to take stuff. And I'm not talking overzealous comments. I'm not talking racism. I'm not talking abusive name calling and slander and all of these things. If you are going to criticise someone, you need to take things back. If you are going to, pardon my, it's extreme. If you're going to shoot someone in the head, karma might hit you. You might get shot in the head. Or worse, you might get shot in the private parts and still live, which is worse. You might get that. I ain't got nothing more to say on this, man. I'm drawing myself out on a, on a Friday night. Guys, deluded Guna, YouTube's in Golo Kante. That's the Bellerin thing wrapped up.